Hello and welcome to our fourth tutorial on Urban Design Software Tool Modeler. In this video we'll be talking about modifying and duplicating buildings. Let's first create a building from a simple rectangle. Now if we want to copy it, we can use Move Tool and click Ctrl key before or while moving it. Another two ways are by using either Copy Paste or by going to Building tab and clicking on the Copy button. We can now use Scale Tool to change the height and shape of building. But all this is just basic modeling. If we would like to do some more complex changes, we have to double click the building to enter it. Modeler buildings are basically just normal SketchUp groups with additional information added. Using push-pull tool we can easily create a terrace. As you can see Modeler will automatically mark it so we know which floors are recognized as terraces and which are loggias. This can be set in Options, Mark Terraces in Logias, and if you don't want to use it, you can turn it off. If we draw a vertical line, the faces will be divided. Now we can extend this part to connect the building, align the edges, and then push ground floor inward to make the entrance with a cantilever above it. We can extend parts as desired, and maybe even make another terrace. If we double click on another building and push inward floor that is below the top floor, we can create loggia. The difference between terrace and loggia is that at least 80% of loggia is covered by above stories. Let's now try to make this building from two modeler buildings. First, we have to draw a rectangle and another rotated rectangle from that endpoint. Since both rectangles are already selected, we can just click Create Building. Let's now double click on Building, select Protractor and draw construction lines. Now we can select the edge of Building and move it to the intersection of construction lines. Since the construction lines were made in Edit Mode, we want to delete them before leaving the group. Let's select second building and move the edge. Now we have two buildings that are nicely connected together. Let's scale their height so they will fit neighboring buildings to make better urban space. We can also use those two buildings instead of this one. Let's delete it and then we just need to copy and rotate it. Select those buildings, select Move tool and click Ctrl key before finishing move operation. Then put it in the right spot and use Rotate tool. Note how I selected building at their bottom corners so they are always placed nicely on the floor. If we would now like to make this building shorter, we can double click it, select end faces and move them. So we created simple but interesting urban design concept in 4 minutes and you learned some of the ways to modify and duplicate buildings. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please just drop us an email. See you later.